Okay, welcome back everybody. This is part two of the factoring series. Uh, so it, the previous video, part one, uh, showed how to factor expressions with the final number being positive. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at factoring expressions where the final number is negative. Again, just like in the previous video, uh, the coefficient of x squared, or the number that is alongside x squared, is a one. And the final sign in this one is different. This time we're going to deal with negative signs. Okay. So again, just like in the previous video, the ones are significant, but they're not significant in the problem solving process. Okay. So we can get rid of the ones. Okay, welcome everybody. Three, two, one. Okay, welcome everybody to the second video in our factoring series. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at factoring two expressions. The, the, in the last video, we had a positive sign at the end. Now in this video, what's different is that we have a negative sign at the end. It's also somewhat significant that this first number is a one, because again, these are the simplest type of factoring problems when it starts off with a one in front of the x squared. You don't have to write the one, but it is significant because it makes the problem much simpler. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the final sign is negative. And just like in the last video, we're gonna use that to figure out what was the last step of the FOIL process. Well, if it was negative, we know that in order to create a negative sign by multiplying, this last step right here must have involved a positive number and a negative number. Okay, because positive times negative would create that negative. So this step, step one, is to look at the minus sign. And the minus sign tells us that the original factors had different... signs. Okay. Step two, step two is to think about, well, what number or what numbers could multiply to make negative 24 and could combine to make negative two. Remember, again, the negative 24 came from right here, and the combined portion came from right here, negative two x. Okay, so that's where the negative two came from, right there. All right, so now we need to figure out two numbers that would combine to make negative two and multiply to make negative 24. And the simple answer is negative six times positive four and negative six plus four, okay? So again, we're dealing with a negative and a positive, which is perfect because they're gonna fit perfectly right here. And what we can do is we can look that, ah, look, the six was negative. So the six is gonna match up right there to that negative. And the four is positive, so that is gonna match up to the plus sign right there. Okay, and of course the x squared came from x times x. Okay, and let's check our answer really quickly. So this was our question. This is our answer, but in order to check our answer, let's do FOIL and make sure that we did the factoring properly. Okay, so x times x makes x squared. x times negative six makes negative six x. Four times x makes plus four x. 
And 4 times negative 6 makes negative 24. So x squared, negative 6 and positive 4 makes negative 2x and negative 24. And that is exactly the same question that we started with. So right there, we can see that we were able to factor. When the second sign is negative, we can simply make a positive and a negative and go through our multiply and combine process just like before, except what's different this time is that you need to match up the negative with the negative and the positive with the positive. All right. So at this point, you should pause the video and try to do problem number two, or you could go back and watch again how we did this process. Uh, whichever one makes you more comfortable, but you should at some point pause the video and try problem number two. Okay, so now we're going to take a look right here uh, at problem two. Again, we're going to do the same exact thing. We take a look at that final negative sign. And it again tells me that the signs inside the parentheses must have been different signs. So a positive and a negative. Now, some students might say, well, what if the negative was first and then the positive? Well, it doesn't matter. Positive and negative makes a negative. Negative and positive makes a negative. As long as you do the matching process correctly, you're going to be fine. And you can see that right here. We're going to multiply. We go a little bit faster on the second problem for these. Multiply and combine. To multiply, we need the negative 24. And to combine, we need positive 2x. Okay, so right here, I could do 6 times negative 4. That would make negative 24. And, whoops, we put an x there. We didn't need that x. Okay, and 6 minus 4 equals 2. So right here, all you're going to do is say, ah, well, the 6 is obviously positive. So that goes there. And the 4 is obviously negative. And that goes there. And now you're going to take your x's, x and x. Okay, and that's your answer. So here was my question. And here is my answer. It is now factored. To check the answer, let's do FOIL really quickly just to make sure everything looks right. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Positive 6 and x is plus 6x. And 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. That results in x squared plus 2x minus 24. All right, and that is a perfect match to what we saw right here. So those are your two problems. And in this video, you learned how to factor when the lead coefficient is a one and when the final sign is negative. All right, thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.